Hello, welcome back to another banger of a video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about adding touchscreen controls to your game so the game can be played on things with touchscreens like iPhones, iPads, or a computer with a touchscreen by using the touchscreen. So the very first thing you're going to want to do to make this magic happen is you're going to go into Project, Project Settings, and then under under input devices in pointing you're going to want to make sure both of these are on and what do these do you may ask well this emulate mouse from touch basically that means that when you touch it's going to just act like a click on the screen so basically if you have a menu here like i have right here and there's buttons when you just touch this with your finger it's going to think it's a click and do the exact same thing. So you won't need to do anything new for this and you can just keep it how it is. So then this other one is going to make it so when you actually click with the mouse, it's going to act like it's a touch. This is really useful for debugging. So that way you won't have to keep switching between your device and when you want to make sure everything's working. So. You also want to under script because you have that you want to go and make sure that you're anything that's hiding the mouse like I have that right now because I don't want the player to be able to see the mouse when they're on it. You want to make sure that is commented out because when you're actually testing it, you want to be able to know where your mouse is so you can click to see if it's working. So now that you have that done, you want to. The thing that we're going to use are touch screen buttons. So you can just go in and they are going to be under no 2D touch screen button like you see right there. Now, the you can kind of set the size and the shape just like you would a collision shape. And then like a button, you can add an image. You can add an image for when it's being pressed here. You would just take an image and drag it in like that. Um, and then same goes for the other one. You can take an image and drag it in like that. Now, <clears throat> a couple things to note here that I think are the most important. The first and by far the very most important one here is the action. So basically in my script, right? Um, down here, this is my movement code right here. I'm sensing if the input right is pressed and doing the movement and I'm sensing if the input left is pressed and I'm doing the movement. So you can see my inputs under project settings. I have left and right. So basically, whenever I hit one of these buttons, it's going to set kind of trigger this because it knows that that's the input being pressed. So if we go and write the same input that we have over here, we write the right in there. It's going to go and it's going to act like we just hit one of the buttons that would trigger right. So it's going to just act like it's another, it's just going to trigger the right thing and make. Um, and it's going to make this code run because it's looking for the right input. Also, the, this is pass by press. So basically what that means is say you have your finger on the screen, just pretend my mouse is the finger and you're clicking on this one and you slide it on over to the other one. Um, by the way, they're, it's, they're split in half and you slide it all on over to the other one then that other one's going to be pressed. If you have that off, then you're going to have to individually tap with your finger, take your finger off, move your finger over, and then tap again. So for me personally, for what I'm using it for, um, pass by press is what works best, but it is really up to you. So now, as you can see, if I go and I run my player, they're just falling forever, but you can see they're moving. And then if I go into my game, you can also see that the player is moving. I'm going to hit the debug key so I don't take damage, but you see when I'm clicking, they're moving. And I'm not pressing anything with the keyboard or anything, I'm just clicking. And this, if I went on a mobile device, it would do the exact same thing if I tapped as I'm clicking. And you see if I kind of switch over like this, it's going to move back and forth. Now, before I leave you, there's a really important thing I want to say. So here's my player. It's a reference to it's an, of this. It's I have it in my level four. And my player, if it is under a canvas layer, then 
I found for some reason the touch controls are going to be janky. So if you have your player or whatever you're using the touch controls for, then it's going to be really janky. So you see I'm kind of tapping here. It's going in the opposite direction. It's only working some of the times. Pass by press isn't working. It's really not working. So if you have your player under a canvas layer and you're using that, just take them out of the canvas layer and find an alternative or something. So that is going to be all for today. Thank you very much for watching. I will catch you next time. And before I leave, there's two things I want to say. First, this game that you just saw is going to be available at, on itch.io. Link in the description. Also, I'm going to try and have a more consistent upload schedule. Um, I have been uploading like once a week, kind of randomly uh, recently. And I'm going to try and come out with a video every other day from this point on forward. So that's all. See you later. Goodbye.